very basic tutorial for air filtration. Hello guys, I'm Saddam of the Bears. Let's move some gas through the pipes. <coughs> Not that type of gas. Get kit atmospherics. Press right mouse button. And change it with the mouse scroll wheel to filtration. Now we have filtration unit. I laid some pipes and this is serial air filtration. So the gas goes this pipe into the first air filtration unit. Then this is the exhaust from the first air filtration unit. Then it goes to the second, then it goes to the third, then it goes to this unit and then it outputs right here. It works, but this is not the best solution because if you are filtering out of gas, this unit is slower than this one. The gas goes into this pipe and sooner or later this pipe will rupture. Or maybe this pipe will rupture, or this one. So this is working solution, but let's improve it a little bit. This is the parallel air filtration. It works exactly the same, like the serial air filtration, but this air filtration unit takes only one gas and the exhaust pipe, which is this one, is connected to the input pipe. So the gas inside this pipe will circle around all the time. And these filtration units, they will filter only the gas you want. The rest of the gas heat will return, return to this loop every time. So you can connect it to some buffer tank or something like that. I'm using this solution all the time because I think that's the best way how to do it. Now I have the filters ready for filtration unit. So this one is oxygen. So this filtration unit will filter oxygen and it will go into that gas tank storage. This one will filter nitrogen this one will filter pollutant this one will filter carbon dioxide so it looks like this I have installed four consoles right here and I have connected these consoles to this gas tank storage Every console has own gas storage and it is connected like this. Now I will rename this gas tank storage. It will be easier to do the next step. This one is the oxygen. This one is nitrogen. one is the pollutant and this one is carbon dioxide piece of cake we will need some gas display circuit boards and we will insert them into the consoles Just like this. Now we will take some glass sheets. 
we will install them into the consoles. Next step, we will take data disk, we will insert it into this small hole and we will switch on the console. Now we can see the pressure inside this gas storage. Let's do the next one. Insert the data disk. Turn on the console. Find what you want to display. You can change this here to pressure or temperature. You want to have the pressure and that's it. Next one. Insert the data disk into that small hole. Turn on the console and we will find nitro. Just like this. And the last one is oxygen. So the finished displays or the finished consoles for this small storage for the gases looks like this. We will need four empty canisters. We will insert them into gas canister storage. As we can see, the gas canisters, they are empty. We can check the atmosphere around us with the atmosphere analyzer. And we can see what is inside this room. If we will check these pipes right here, they will have exactly the same atmosphere inside because of this passive vent right here. And these pipes are empty because the filters are not running yet. Now I will start the filtration units. And we can see some pressure. So let's try the other one. Now the pollutants. Now the carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide goes just a little bit slower because I don't have much carbon dioxide right here. We can check it. Let's take a look what is inside these canisters. 
So this one should be pure oxygen. Yes, it is. This one should be pure nitrogen. It is. This one is pure pollutant. And this one is carbon dioxide. If you have a greenhouse, like me, you can use the filtration unit to pump out the pure oxygen from the greenhouse. So the carbon dioxide stays in the greenhouse and you will take only the oxygen outside the greenhouse. This greenhouse has everything. You can control the temperature of the greenhouse. You can control the pressure inside the greenhouse. And you can control even the oxygen carbon dioxide ratio inside the greenhouse. It is fully automated. Everything what you need to do is just set the temperature set the pressure and set the ratio of oxygen and carbon dioxide. The last thing what you need is plant some plants. If you want to produce oxygen, basically tons of oxygen, you will plant ferns. But every plant you will plant inside the greenhouse will produce some oxygen. But if you want only the oxygen, ferns are the best. So this is it guys. Thank you very much for watching.